When I first heard about Nostradamus' prophecies, I was fascinated. But I was only 12. As I got older, I wondered how he got his fame from his vague quatrains. However, when I started to look into his quatrains and compare those with historical events, I was shocked by their accuracy and details. It is more shocking that for so many years, no one has discovered the truth and vision hidden under these quatrains. So, quatrain by quatrain, I found details on all the wars for the past 500 years. Details about Mary, Queen of Scots, and Nostradamus' sponsor, Queen Catherine de Medici. I found the life story of Queen Louis XVI and his beheaded Queen Marie Antoinette. I found details on the French and Russian Revolution, Lincoln and the JFK assassination, and of course, the doomsday predictions. As I watched in horror how defenseless Houston was when hit by Hurricane Harvey, I started to wonder if Nostradamus predicted Houston flooding as well. And guess what? I think I found it. In Century 8, Quatrain 16, Nostradamus stated, quote, At the place where Huron has his ship built, there will be such a great sudden flood that no one will not have a place nor land to fall upon. The waters mount to the Olympic Thessalon. Why do I think this is about Houston? What is Houston known for? Well, let me give you a hint. Houston, we've got problems. Houston is known for the Space Center and also a place where there are many shipyard ships built. But Houston is known as the hub of spaceship operations. And Heron is the temple of God. So spaceship as ship to heaven? That must be Houston. And then it is clear that we have a great sudden flood when no one has even a place to fall upon. And the last line, the waters mount to Olympic Thessalon. I guess it could only mean the whole Houston area to be underwater. As Houston is known to be totally flat, there is no mountain nor hill to escape the flood. Okay, so what if I find a quatrain about the Houston flood? That does not do us any good. The city of Houston decided against an evacuation order even when they knew Harvey was coming because there is no way to move a city with six million residents. What's the point of finding the quatrain? What if we can find not just one quatrain, but several quatrains? Most people decoding Nostradamus decode each quatrain separately, but I want to find a cluster of quatrains. So, let's look at the quatrain before this. Century 8, quatrain 15. Quote, Great exertions towards the north by a man, woman, to vex Europe and almost all the universe. The two eclipses will be put into such a rout that they will reinforce life or death for the Hungarians. This quatrain is hard to decode because you have the mention of a man-woman, Europe, and Hungarians. But it mentioned the two eclipses will be put into such a rout that they will reinforce the life and death of the Hungarians. We just had two eclipses, a partial lunar eclipse on August 6, 2017, and the total solar eclipse on August 21. These eclipses may just be a coincidence, but it appeared right before the Houston flood, which happened on August 25. And these two eclipses happened in the lunar leap month, when at least three crop circles warned about the year with 13 months. Is this the sound of the doomsday clock? Let's see what was said in the next quatrain. Century 8, quatrain 17, quote, Those at ease will suddenly be cast down. The world put into trouble by three brothers. Their enemies will seize the marine city. Hunger, fire, blood, plague, 
all evils doubled. I think Quatrain 15 and 16 use the flood to identify the timeline, while the next Quatrain pointed to a possible beginning of the end times. Even though news channels have played non-stop, the tensions with North Korea, the violent protests in America, and the damages left by Hurricane Harvey, I can say everyone still believes doomsday is only a theory. Are we all in for a big surprise when our easy, comfortable lives are about to be cast down? Whether if we will soon face the doomsday depends on if we can find three brothers. As when their enemies seize the marine city, hunger, fire, blood, and plague will prey upon us and that will be the beginning of the end. So who are the three brothers? Could it be the Muslim Brotherhood? Do you remember Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Bahrain, and the United Arab Emirates cut diplomatic ties with Qatar in June? Because of Qatar's support of Muslim Brotherhood, it is a marine city, and guess what? Its emblem has a tree in there. Remember I released this video about a possible war? When I found a tree in the center of a circle. And I thought it was about Lebanon as there is a tree in its flag. But I can't rule out this being a conflict involving Qatar. Or could the three brothers be Kim Jong-un and his older brother Kim Jong-chul and his older half-brother Kim Jong-nam assassinated under his order a few months ago? In North Korea, when one leader dies, his heir steps up and takes his place. So if Kim Jong-un is killed, his brother will take his place and then maybe the nephew. Don't forget, Pyongyang is also a marine city. So can this mean the world will spiral down if we fight a nuclear war with North Korea? Of course, that is a no-brainer. But everyone knows the probable consequences of a nuclear war. So only idiots would try to kill us all, right? The next quatrain seemed to be about a woman. Century 8, Quatrain 18, quote, The cause of her death will be issued from Florence, one time before drunk by young and old. By the three lilies they will give her a great pause, save through her offspring as raw meat is dampened. I don't know what this is about, but after Kim Jong-un killed his half-brother, he has only one sister and one brother left. Is this she the sister that would become the leader if both of her brothers die? People said Quatrain 19 and 20 are about President Trump. In Quatrain 19, quote, to support the Great Trouble Cape, the Red will march in order to clarify it. A family will be almost overcome by death. The Red. Red ones will knock down the Red one. Other than the fact Trump likes to wear a red cap and red tie, I don't see the connection with the quatrain. However, Republicans are known to be the red, and the recent protests do seem to fit the word march. If the Republicans withdraw their support of President Trump, then we have to say this quatrain seemed to hit the mark. There's little doubt about quatrain 20 being about President Trump. The false message about the rigged election, to run through the city stopping the broken pact, voices bought, chapel stained with blood, the empire contracted to another one. I will not dig deep into decoding this quatrain, as I bring this up basically to support my timeline. As these quatrains are clustered with the Houston flood and the eclipse of the century, finding a quatrain about Mr. Trump kind of confirmed the timeline. If we based our look solely on the quatrains, and if you agree with my decoding, then I will say the dark cloud over Houston may soon spread over the whole world. But Nostradamus is not always right, and my decoding may miss the mark. Like I always say, let's hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. This is Ken Peters. Thank you for watching.